Hey there, this is Jorik. Welcome back to my channel uh, where I'm an American expat living in Portugal. I want to talk about all things living overseas and travel when we can do so. So it's May of 2021. We're hoping that travel happens soon. Just waiting for the announcement for international travel and travel within the EU. So hopefully that will be uh, coming soon. Today I want to talk to you about property taxes specific to Portugal. A number of people have messaged me, friends and family who are thinking about potentially owning a property here in Portugal have asked, what are property taxes over here? So I want to be able to tell you about what our experience is. So you have some uh, frame of reference uh, from a real person versus just getting it off a website and then uh, tell you about what it may be uh, or what you're getting into if you're going to get multiple properties here in Portugal. So. We happen to live in Lisbon, in the city center. Uh, we have an apartment that is about 700 square feet. Uh, so I want to put it into American terms. Uh, so for those of you in the U.S., so it's a small two-bedroom apartment uh, compared to uh, what we were living in uh, back in the U.S. That place, uh, this that we are in, is less than 200 euros per year for property taxes. So. It's about 220 US dollars a year for property taxes. Very affordable. We also have talked to a number of people that have property outside of Lisbon. So typical homes, uh, houses with property uh, gardens in the back or some acreage. And they are living, one couple, uh, they have a thousand square foot home and they have some property. I don't know the exact size of the property, but they're paying 280 euros, so a little over $300, 320, 330 uh, a year US for their property. So property taxes here in Portugal, very, very affordable uh, for your primary home. So that's something uh, that you shouldn't really worry about going, depending on where you're at in the US, you may be paying $1,000, $2,000 or more, depending on how your property taxes are divvied up between city, state, uh, paying for education, other programs. Um, here, it's very affordable. So don't worry about that. Uh, and that should maybe be looked at as a positive if you're thinking about coming to Portugal and looking for property. Property taxes on your initial property are negligible, in my opinion. Now, if you're thinking about buying a second property, you want a beach property in the Algarve, or you want some property out in a rural area, and that's where things get tricky. In fact, if you wanted a property right across from where your current property is, the second property, for some reason, taxes can be exponentially more. I don't know the why on that. I've looked through Portuguese law. Maybe it's just because if uh, Portugal thinks that you can afford more than one property, you're well off enough to be able to pay more in taxes. But to give you an example, again, we have a 700 square foot apartment. If we were to look right across the street and if there was an apartment across the street that was the same size, um, same cost, we might pay six, seven, eight hundred euros for that same property. So anywhere from let's say seven hundred to a thousand dollars U.S. in property taxes for that second property, which doesn't seem to make any sense, seeing because we're across the street currently paying less than two hundred. Um, I haven't been able to get a straight answer to that, but we've looked at rental properties to be able to do maybe Airbnb, short-term rentals, VRBO, or even long-term rentals. And that seems to be uh, not getting a straight answer from anyone, but uh, prohibitive. We're going, well, we have to make sure that we get enough uh, rental income coming in to be able to pay for the taxes that might be three or four times more than what we're currently paying. And if we were looking at a second property to live in and not do a rental, but just go to, let's say, a beach property once a month or a few times a year, doesn't really seem to make sense to be able to go there and pay um, what we think are very high taxes for a second property. Some people have asked me over the last month about farm properties. 
I don't have anybody that lives on a farm or has a farm property, so I can't give you any more information or any accurate information that you can't find on websites. Um, but I, I try to give you information from our own experience or people that we live here that uh, on the ground information, if you will, versus just what you get off a website. So I can't help you with farm uh, property taxes or prices. But if you're going to get a primary property here, very low property taxes. If you're going to get a second or multiple properties for rental or vacation, very high taxes, even for the same kind of property. And it doesn't matter whether you're in a high rent district, low rent district, uh, in the city, outside the city. It seems like first property, very low, second or more, extremely high, two, three, four times uh, that. So uh, I wanted to give you this information on property taxes in Portugal. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more videos. I'm going to have uh, much more information in the coming months and years as we continue to live in Portugal. So hope you're doing well and have a great day.